Good morning students. The poem that I have chosen for discussion today is In Memoriam written by Tennyson, Alfred Tennyson from the Victorian age. In Memoriam of course is a very long poem and elegy as you all know but in the syllabus of BASM, BASM 5 only an extract of it has been chosen and today I wish to focus on that extract and discuss it in terms of the modern times, the present scenario of coronavirus through which we all are going and suffering of course at our end at the individual level, at the personal level. You all are aware of all this. But anyway, this poem attracts me whenever I read it. I love to read it. It talks of the Victorian era but I find a special type of universalization in this poem. Something which was true in the Victorian age is true even today. And now we are once again facing all those problems which were faced by the Victorian era. Now let's try to understand first the basis of the poem. It was an age, you know, the Victorian age. Of course, it is supposed to be an age of optimism in which Browning is one of the greatest optimistic poet. But at the same time, it was an age of doubt, an age of uncertainties and the main reason behind it, first of all, is industrialization and secondly, of course, which is a very important factor in this particular poem, is the coming of a poem like the publication of, a, of a, sorry, a book like The Origin of Species written by Charles Darwin. Science intervened all of a sudden. Life had been at peace. Everything was wonderful. People had complete faith in God and they always believed whatever God did was for their welfare. And every single thing, every single element, every single organism in this world was taken care of by God. But all of a sudden a new theory intervened and that theory was the theory of the survival of the fittest. So when we talk of the survival of the fittest, it means everything does not survive in this world. It is only those things which are actually, you know, those things or those objects or whatever it is, which actually can meet the time at the right moment, meet the right time at the right moment. So this is probably what disturbed the people of that age. It was a not new type of theory. They always felt that they would be taken care of but suddenly it was believed that if there were 50 seeds sown in the soil, it is only that particular seed which actually flowers into a plant which gets the right air, the right soil, the right sunshine and everything like that. So it troubled the people a lot. So this theory of origin of species was something new. It was an evolutionary theory. And this evolutionary theory troubled the people a lot. Then we find, you know, people in this stage of conflict throughout the writer trying to analyze and find that he is no better than a child without light. A child who is entrapped in darkness and does not know where to go. So this is the situation which he faces throughout the poem and at the end he tries to resolve it because people could not be left in this state of delusion, in this state of despair, in this state of unhappiness. So it was important to find a solution and in fact the poem deals with a clash between science and religion or science and faith whatever you may call it. And ultimately, when he can find no answer, you know, he treads the step of the temple. He moves higher and higher, treads those steps and realizes probably the only solution to this problem is faith. Today, we are faced with the same spiritual crisis which was, you know, important at that time and which the people of the Victorian period had to face. Today also, we are going through similar times and we fail to understand where to go, whether it is science or progress or whatever we may call it, that has actually, you know, given us the happiness which we really wanted, for which we fought throughout life. And that same age-old question 
are we happier than our forefathers surrounds us even today so in this scenario we do not know whether the times that were there 100 years earlier or 50 years earlier were better times than the times that we are going through now it's again an evolutionary progress you know uh, evolutionary stage in our life and once again digitalization which has become a very very important part of our life is disturbing us throwing around us that same spiritual crisis which the people met with in the victorian age and which tennyson mirrors very beautifully you know in his poem the in, in memoriam and you know i think it's a beautiful poem all of you should read it this is the basic background which should be very clear to you before actually you start reading the poem thank you students